Welcome back to Street Care Academy. It's your boy Miguel Street, back here for another cleaning. Now in today's episode, we will be cleaning the Spider-Verse Air Jordan 1s. This is the second collab of their collection, so real quick, drop a comment and let us know which one do you prefer, the first or the second? And we'll get into that later. You already know, we didn't come to play around. For today's cleaning, we'll be using the Rejuvenated Signature Kit. Now, the reason that we're gonna use the Signature Kit is because we got a good amount of different materials on the sneaker. I'm not exactly sure how they're all gonna react, so we'll find out together, and if needed, we'll definitely toss it in the washing machine. Our video editor's little brother wore these to work for about a week. Now, I know he works at Home Depot, so I gotta give him a little slack, but he didn't hold back on these at all. So to make my job a little bit easier, I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray some rejuvenator deodorizer. We got our cleaning station set up with all the necessary tools we'll need to get today's cleaning knocked out. So with that being said, let's get this shoe out the way. Now we're gonna take out these laces so we can get to rocking. Now that we got the shoe tree in our sneaker, now that's gonna allow us to put as much pressure as we need to on that toe box during the cleaning. Now the next step, take our four ounce bottle of solution, give yourself two squirts. The soft bristle brush is great for breaking down that surface level dirt and grime. Once we're done with that, I'll be able to tell if there's any deeper staining that needs the medium brush. Once we're done with that, we'll jump over to this outsole and clean up this translucent sole, which is one of my favorite parts of the sneaker, with our stiff bristle brush. And sometimes there's some deeper stains that sticks around on this midsole, so we can take care of that with the stiff brush as well. Soft brush is working out pretty well. It's cleaning this tongue up better than I thought it would. It was looking pretty dingy at first, but a few passes of the soft brush, we were able to get most of that dirt from out of the tongue. I have been seeing a little bit of bleeding around this area. Now I'm not completely sure if it's from the suede or the new buck, but as I'm scrubbing, I've been quickly wiping it off just so it doesn't get too bad and stain on the white leather, cause that's not what we want. my people this cleaning is coming along great everything's doing what it's supposed to do right now we just got to tackle this outsole with our stiff bristle brush i don't think we'll need to put this sneaker in the washer it's cleaning up pretty great so we'll see how it looks after it dries all right my people we basically got this pre-cleaning knocked out so now let's take our lace Drop it in this water. It's a black lace, so we're not gonna have too much trouble getting it back clean. Swish it up a couple times. Give it a quick scrub a dub dub. Wash those hands like a rubber duck. Once you got that excess solution and water all spools out of the lace, you just wanna take your microfiber towel and give it a pull through. All right, nah. This thing is not moving. If I really try to get it out, I'm probably gonna rip it. So that is not what we want. So let me go get some gloves and then we'll do a quick pass with the soft bristle brush. Maybe even the medium. I think we'll do the medium actually because this needs some real loving. All right, we got that insole as clean as I possibly could. I'm gonna set this shoe outside to dry and we'll check back in tomorrow. Let's do it. We're back, we got the sneaker completely dried and it's looking pretty clean. I can't be mad at it. But one thing I am noticing, there are some scratches here and there on the sneaker. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these were worn, put in a bunch of hours. So I'm just assuming that's where it happened. Now, Vic has fixed this issue a ton of times on the channel. Pretty much what it will consist of is starting off with some 400 grit sandpaper, sanding it down, getting this roughness flush with the rest of the leather. After that, you'll apply a thin even coat of leather filler, let that dry, and then sand that down so that it's flush with the rest of the leather. Last thing you would need to do is apply some paint so it looks like nothing ever happened in the great words of Vic. But I am not Vic Almighty, so I'm gonna do some things that I can do, which is fix this dry suede. It's feeling pretty crunchy because we got it wet. 
and then on the back this paint is looking pretty faded and that's not what we want so luckily we've got some mink oil that's going to help bring that color back to life first things first take our dry suede eraser and get to work As you can see here on the sneaker, we've got two different types of suede. This one right here, it's already back to its original texture. It didn't take too much work, but this one back here, boy, it's more of a long hair suede. As you can see, it's looking more nappy. It's more crunchy and it's gonna take a little bit more effort to get back to its original texture. No worries at all because the dry suede kit got us covered. Let's take your brush, brush in all directions, and check your progress. And just those couple strokes got us in a better spot. So we got that taken care of. Shout out to that dry suede kit and the mink oil. I do wanna talk a little bit about this sneaker before I lace it up. When I first saw the photos, I was a little bit skeptical. The Chicago one is my favorite colorway. So I'm looking at this shoe like it's another Chicago colorway that nobody asked for and that we didn't need. It's a lot going on. It just felt very busy with all these different elements on the sneaker. Fast forward a little bit to when I actually got a chance to watch the movie, I really liked it. Now, I'm not a huge movie buff or movie nerd, but this one, definitely stuck out. I really liked it. Everything from the music choice, from the shots. As a videographer and an editor, I really pay attention to that type of stuff and you know, it really just hit all the marks for me. One of my biggest icks with this sneaker had to be this polka dot kind of psychedelic vibe they got going on. And after I watched the movie, I changed my mind on it because it's very prevalent throughout the whole movie. If you pay attention, you can just notice this psychedelic effect, the different color RGB vibes kind of going on. So it's kind of cool that they actually threw that and implemented it nicely on the sneaker. Another detail that I'm still not a big fan of has to be this tongue. Now it's just very stiff. It, just doesn't seem like it'll sit nicely when you're wearing them. It's very high, like you see how high it is. Um, and this tongue tag. I feel like Nike and Spider-Verse, I'm not sure what those meetings look like, but I feel like we could have got a much more creative tongue tag. Maybe a Spider-Man logo, a, a web, something to do with the movie, but this just, it's not really doing it for me. It's a hard shoe to mess up. Enough about what I don't like. I'm actually a really big fan of this outsole. It's the perfect amount of translucent without being too clear, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what were your initial thoughts on the sneaker and if it's a cop or a drop. That being said, let's lace this sneaker up so we can get on up out of here. All right, this cleaning has come to an end and I am very satisfied with the results. So it's only right to give you guys a quick before and after from where we started and where we at now. You went from, can I have a dollar to let me holla. To achieve these results today, we used our Rashub Native Signature Kit. Now this kit does come with our patented laundry system, but we did not need to use it because our soft, medium, and stiff brushes did everything they needed to do, and they got this shoe cleaned up nice and well. I didn't want to risk any bleeding or fading on the rest of the sneaker with all these different materials that we got going on. Plus, a little bit of mink oil in our horsehair brush got this sneaker looking like it should. You can find all these products and more at RashubNader.com, and if you stuck around this long, we definitely appreciate you. We want to show you some love. All you gotta do is comment Spider-Verse and we're picking one lucky winner to win their very own signature kit. That being said, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It's your boy Miguel Street and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.